Inland Fisheries Ireland is the state agency under the Department of Environment, Climate and Communications responsible for inland fisheries and sea angling. GIS is used in IFI to capture point locations, to track fish movements, give information about the different types of habitats and to give information about our rivers, lakes and sea. With ArcGIS's hub, the data is instantaneously sent back to us here in the office. So as soon as an angler submits a survey, it'll join the rest of the surveys here where we can gain insight and knowledge um, using the other ArcGIS tools. The DASH report was designed um, in-house by our IMREC research team. Myself as a GIS officer was there on hand, but to be honest, it was very simple to build a really impressive and useful product. Fisheries managers and fisheries scientists have been collecting data for a long time through these diary processes, which was originally by hand in notebooks. Quite recently now, people have started using technology to collect this information via apps. So we decided to complement our on-site surveys where we interview people on the beach. We would actually try and develop an app with the technology that we already have and with the tools that we already have in Inland Fisheries Ireland. The benefits of using the IMREC diary app, it allows anglers to log their fishing sessions and also, for IFI's perspective, it builds our case for recreation angling and allows us to identify any issues with fish stocks. It's fantastic for being able to record accurately and immediately the species you caught, the length of this fish, any particular details you want to capture about the weather conditions or the tidal conditions. It might surprise some people to learn that over 325,000 Irish adults like to go fishing. It's equally important to record the fish that are caught by the people who don't fish very often as by the avid anglers who are fishing every weekend. All of that data will, will go into getting a better picture of what's going on with our stocks in the Irish seas. For sea fishing, the time of the tide, the time of the day, the time of the year, they're all really important and to be able to look back through your records and see when you had good fishing, when you had bad fishing, the app will be really beneficial for deciding all that kind of stuff. The data that we'll collect using the app might you know, help to give the anglers a larger slice of the pie in future. When we're looking at commercial fishing quotas and everything else, if we realise how important the recreational angling side of things is to the economy, that when people are making decisions at the top table, they might decide to give a larger portion of the stock to the anglers themselves. The aims of IMREC are to capture data on the catches of fish, certain species of fish, but we're trying to capture all species in the programme now because we have the opportunity and report those nationally and also to Europe so that we can understand anglers' catches and how many fish they release in the context of commercial catches. The more you know about your fishing, the more you can document. It also gives them a role, if you like, as stewards of the sea in that they're observant, they're documenting information and it, it allows us then to capture their information for processing into a reporting format nationally and also to, to Europe for fisheries management. It was a big transformation moving from paper to digital. The big thing for us was the savings. We didn't have to transfer our information onto paper. Instead, we just used electronic data capture. Our next step will be to further use the GIS Esri products. The big project that we're looking at next will be field maps using that product. We want to capture asset information around the country and we see field maps as being the appropriate tool set to use.